In this video, we'll take a look at the use case of running a Python script through SSIS. So quick background, I've created a simple Python script here that simply will just display a text box when run. So first I'll show you what this looks like. Navigate to the folder and run it. And that's it, it just displays this text box and and that's it. So now back in SSIS in Visual Studio, we will drag in the execute process task component. And this can be used for a bunch of different types of programming languages, but in our case, we'll use it for Python. So if we go in here, first thing we'll do is rename it, give it something useful. On this process tab, this is where we need to set up the configuration for how it's going to know what file to run. So for the execution path, if we type where Python on our command prompt, it'll tell us where on our machine the Python executable is located. So let's navigate here. Make sure we copy this correctly. So let's find that path here in the browser. Find the executable, select open. For arguments, in our case, it's just the name of the file. There's no additional arguments, so alert.py. And the working directory where this file exists is our demo folder. And this is what it looks like. So now we have this all configured, and let's go ahead and try to run it. First thing, we'll just disable the other components just to focus on this one. And execute, see what happens. All right, so successful, this showed up. That means the script was triggered and it showed our alert box, it ran our script. So to take this one step further, what we can do is actually make this more dynamic and create these different configurations as variables. So let's take our executable, for example. So let's add this as a project level parameter so that uh, perhaps in the future other packages may want to use this same executable location. So let's add a new one, call it Python executable. Now if we go back in and go to expressions, we can make this dynamic. So the property we just added that we want to use is executable. And we will use this parameter, evaluate. And so now when this runs, it will use that expression instead of what's actually in the general or in the process tab. It will look at the expression instead. So let's do the same thing for these other two but this time we'll just keep it on a local package scope level. So we'll add a variable here, call it Python working directory. Because in theory, you could have different packages that use different directories and different files, but the executable location stays the same. That's why we put it on the project level. So now let's also add a file name. You could also call this arguments, whatever you prefer. We'll call this alert.py, that's the name of the file. And let's add those to the expression, to the expression options. So we'll add arguments. We call that file name because that's the only argument we have. Alert. And then working directory will be based on the working directory variable. So now this entire task is dynamic using variables and we could actually just delete all these and it should still run okay actually okay I lied so we do need to keep the executable in there so we'll just forget about this you'll just have to trust me on this case that it's not using these that are hard-coded it's using the variables so let's run it And again, it succeeded. And just to prove that it is using the variables and not the actual hard-coded values here, let's just make up a fake file. And if it was actually using this, it would fail because it doesn't exist. But let's execute it. And it succeeded because it's actually still using those variables, which has the correct file name. So let's enable everything now and give it one more last run just to prove it all works. And it does. So that's a very simple example of implementing Python in SSIS. Thanks for watching.